Hey everybody, Ben C. Marcus here from 8th Day, and welcome to the Late Parsha Show. Right now, coming from the hospital, from visiting my mother and my new little baby brother. In last week's Late Parsha show, though we spoke of the extra two years Joseph spent in prison, that was literally only half of the first verse of last week's Torah portion. What? That's Tara for you. Last week's Torah portion then went on to talk about how Pharaoh, king of Egypt, as opposed to king of... Jewish music had two super weird dreams. In his first dream, he saw seven fat cows emerge from the Nile River, then seven skinny cows emerged from the Nile River and ate up the seven fat cows, but they still remained skinny. He then had a similar dream with ears of grain. He saw seven fat, full ears of grain, and seven thin ears of grain consume those seven fat ears of grain and still remain thin. Like, how come this stuff only happens in dreams? I also want to eat a ton and stay skinny. Pharaoh's butler tells Pharaoh about this guy named Joseph who interprets dreams. So Pharaoh has Joseph released. And then world jewelry erupted in happiness. Uh, actually, world jewelry, who was then Joseph's immediate family, knew nothing of his whereabouts. But as far as Rabbi Sholomar Chai Rabashkin's release goes, <laughs> Pharaoh has Joseph brought before him and he tells him his dream and asks for an interpretation and gets one. Joseph tells Pharaoh that there would be seven years of plenty and the seven years after that would be seven years of famine so severe as if the plenty never happened. All right, that pizza. Joseph suggests to Pharaoh to appoint someone to gather in tons of food during the years of plenty. That way when the years of famine come, he'll be able to distribute it. Pharaoh appoints Joseph for the job. Well, the famine strikes in not only Egypt, but all surrounding areas, including the future land of Israel, where Jacob's brothers were located. Jacob's brothers heard about this guy selling food in Egypt, so they went down to get some. Joseph recognized his brothers, but they didn't recognize him. And eventually, in this week's tour portion, well, last week's tour portion, because you're watching this now, which is not this week. Well, now is this week. Okay, forget it. Eventually, in the tour portion this video was intended for, Joseph reveals himself and is kind towards his brothers. Yes, again, the very same ones that wanted to kill him. Why and how was he kind to those brothers? Once again, it's because Joseph understood that everything, every detail in our life, no matter how wild it is, is God's doing. God knows what he's doing. Recognize that God is guiding you every step of the way. And pray to God that you make the right choices. May his guidance, may he be revealed to us now with the coming and revelation of Mashiach. Oh, 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 oh,